Hey, welcome back to Tech 53. Today, we're talking about pedal bushings for the Mark I for both the brake and the clutch. The reason I think this video needs to be done is because of personal experience on two separate models that were actually had scratching our heads for quite a few days. Uh, I'll explain exactly what happened. Um, Mark I application, it was an 83 Westmoreland built. GTI did the brake kit did the master swap did the booster swap put a nine inch uh, in order to put the 22 millimeter uh, with the uh, the lines coming at an angle and at one point we're testing the brakes and the brake pedal wouldn't come back up so in there it's like oh well maybe the nine inch is putting too much boost on the diaphragm and you're making the pedal not come back so we actually made a restrictor inside the line the vacuum line going to the booster that did help a bit but it didn't change the problem so we're looking at it and everything else and after a while we're able to go underneath inspect where the pedal was and you could see the pedal was cocked just a bit and that was enough for the spring not to do its job of return the, the, the brake pedal back. So this is where it, it comes from. Uh, there's two different types of uh, pedal boxes on the Mark I. The Euro made one and there's the Westmoreland. The actual diameter of the bushing on the inside is different on the Euro than the Westmoreland US built. So if you go on our website, you have, you know, it's easy for you, just it's easy, US built or is it uh, German built? How can you recognize them? Well, number one, usually if it's a US car that was built between 81 and 84, it should be there. Doesn't mean it wasn't swapped. Uh, the best thing usually, if I am not mistaken, you will see stamped made in USA on the pedal assembly somewhere, if it's Westmoreland. So that gives you a good uh, idea of where to start. So these, um, we actually machine, machine them in-house. Uh, they're out of Delrin. Uh, they're within like half a thou, like five tenths tolerance at uh, room temperature because uh, Delrin will expand differently at different temperatures. And it's a perfect fit. It's exactly what you need to prevent that or to actually solve the problem of the brake pedal not coming back and it's the same thing for the clutch pedal and we've seen quite a few clutch pedals uh, have the uh, neck of where the cable goes in that's broken sometimes that could be related to a broken bushing because it will not act exactly perpendicular to the force that it's reacting to so take a look at it see you soon